Welcome all, welcome. We're doing a live open house from Celebration, Florida. I welcome your questions. If I can't get to them, I'll get to them after I post the video. And this is in Celebration's Artisan Park. So we're going to see a little bit about the outside before we go in. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you so much for the heart. I really appreciate it. And please share the video. Thank you. Thank you again. Ah, Barbara. I wish I could too. Synagogues. Um, not in celebration, but outside of celebration, definitely. So we're walking down Tapestry Street. Tapestry Street is in Artisan Park. Can everybody hear me? Tapestry Street is in Artisan Park, section of Celebration. Now, if you see trees over here, hello, Kevin. If you see trees over here, that is conservation area. In this section, there's not going to be any more building. Any trees that you see will remain as long as the hurricanes allow them. Lost a couple. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate that. And as I'm walking down the street, you might see in front of me a golf cart. Celebration is golf cart friendly. I'm not viewing the other, other people's houses right now. Yes, uh, Celebration was created by Disney. It's one of only two communities built by Disney. Now walking And we're going to be going into this colonial style home over here. So this is where we're having the open house today. Thank you all for joining. I got a nice group of 42. One of the things we always say, I always say in celebration is, you know, it's best to have a front porch. That really does uh, make you feel like you're in celebration. I'm going to take a little bit of view of the outside so you can see the whole house. Now this is a one-story home. It's 3,200 square feet and it's got a large backyard and a three-car garage. It's a classic colonial style home. And one of the things about this uh, area of celebration is all these homes were built with block construction which if that's something that you're interested in because you feel it, um, it might be safer these are all block construction and so you've got the whole first floor block and it's on a very very large lot let me see how long is big is this lot I gotta look it up it's over a quarter acre Pretty big for celebration standards. Here's the front porch. Pink on the sidewalk. Oh, the pink on the sidewalk is just that it's markings um, that they are going to be doing uh, some repair uh, to the sidewalk. Yeah, doesn't look so good. No, it's not graffiti. <laughs> Be the dining room. Now, 
And here is a, so if this is the dining room, right off the dining room you have this beautiful, it's like a sunroom. I would call this a sunroom. What a great place for a study. How many bedrooms? It is four bedrooms, three full baths. Thank you for asking, Sandy. Four bedrooms, three full baths. Look at this view. Celebration is only one of two communities that was built by Disney. Can anybody name the other community built by Disney? Yeah. Oh, you're more than welcome, Sandy. That is, that is a huge, oh, hello. Okay. So, and then here, here's the first of the bedrooms. This is the smaller bedroom. Has an attached golden oak. Deborah, you win the grand prize, which is uh, nothing, but this has an attached bath, full bath. Um, Walk-in closet. This is big enough for a queen-size bed. Oh yes, we have photographers come here, you know, and just use, you know, learn to use their cameras and practice and take pictures, and it's just beautiful. Okay. So it's got a very, oh, one of the things about Celebration, you find a lot of the homes have open floor plans. So it's got a built-in stove top, built-in oven and microwave. But look at that view right there. Not, not just Melinda, Melinda's great. Hello. <laughs> And we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you the greatest feature of this home, which is the backyard is so big and flexible. Oh, great. I'll go out right now. Great, good. Thank you, Melinda. Wow, thank you. Love the tile. Good. Oh, thank you, Katie. Okay. That's the tile for anybody who didn't. How much are they asking for? $7.49. It has been on the market 39 days. So you have this large covered porch. We're having an open house today. And, hey, I'm live. I won't get you on camera, on camera. Don't worry. But look at this enormous backyard. This is over a quarter of an acre. So you could put a pool back here. You could put a soccer field back here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, one thing about Celebration is very, very large windows. Um... That's another house I would eat back. Look at this. The, you could put, so here's the three car garage. I'm falling in love with this house too. It's my first time seeing it. So you could put a pool and still have all this yard for kids, play area. I mean, you know, I will be honest with you about celebration. We don't have a, a lot of yard space. So finding a home like this with the yard space and then the big beautiful trees is really something unique. Christy, did you get my answer to the price of the house? $749,000. $749, go out here and as I mentioned earlier if you just joined anytime you see trees like this that's conservation area um, they're not going to be building in this section all the building is complete let's take a look beautiful beautiful home and it's a one story as I mentioned Monthly HOA dues, actually, you're going to find they're very reasonable here. Now, everyone in celebration pays $76 per month. Okay, Doug? $76 per month. Artisan Park has an extra fee because it has a private clubhouse. It's the only one in celebration 
that has the private clubhouse, which is ha has a year-round heated pool. Everybody in this section gets Wi-Fi, and there's a restaurant in there, um, a gym. So it's a little bit, I don't want to say higher end, but their, their community features are a little bit improved. But you do pay for that two seventy eight dollars per quarter for the extra fees. In other communities, like I pay $76 per month. And if you're familiar with Florida, uh, <laughs> you know that uh, we pay a lot in HOA fees. But for the $76 a month, if you're in the four other communities, um, I'm in the South Village, you get access to pools, access to a small gym, um, and many, many parks. Plus, you get the, all the beautiful landscaping that's around your house. Not around, I'm sorry, around the community. You're responsible for the landscaping of your own private. It could. It could actually use a bit of paint. Um, and one of the things I say is, listen, you may not like yellow. They know it needs paint. Put it in your offer. So, and then you get it painted the way you want, fresh, and you know it's... Yeah, Sandy, uh, HOA fees are one of the big surprising things. If you go to something like Reunion, you're over $400 a month. But Reunion is gated. Reunion has... Um, Reunion includes landscaping. Reunion even includes pool care, because all the homes have pools. So I always say if HOA fees are, are high, you have to find it, you have to figure out if you're gonna need their facilities. So we went through that door. I'm gonna go back through this. So this is this is the family room. The family room. Well, I would say that you're looking at a slightly lower price point for Windermere, slightly lower. I can send you some listings for Windermere. Um, I've seen some amazing, amazing deals in Windermere. However, I did sell a home smaller than this for more money in Windermere. Beautiful community, guard gated. So I would say Windermere, price per square foot, is lower. So this has a sunken tub. And Drew, if you want any information about individual homes, I'll be glad to send it to you. Um, Windermere starts in the 275s, I would say. Um, but you're gonna find an average of at least 500. But they go up to a million as well, absolutely. Here's a nice walk-in shower. I sell everything surrounding Disney World. Every community surrounding Disney World is my specialty. I cater really to people who are moving here to be close to Disney World. So you have dual sinks. And this is a huge, look at this closet. I gotta walk in here to show you how big this is. I'm gonna try to go real slow. This is as big as some rooms I've seen. Enormous closet. And enclosed toilet. Oh, 
Absolutely, absolutely, David. It depends on which owners will allow me to do it and which brokers will allow me to do it. But I definitely can. And, and you know what? My house would fall right in between that. My house is about 400. Oh, for crying out loud, you're kidding me. <laughs> Typo, thank you so much. Please use this link. Always something, right? There we go. Thank you so much for correcting that for me. So this again is a sunroom. There's a dining area. What I like is the pass-through. I love pass-throughs. Here's another bedroom. We've been in this bedroom, but some people may have missed it. I'll go hit these two last bedrooms over here and then take another walk around and show you the outsides again. Ah, here's two bedrooms. Here's the first one. And this is great. Jack and Jill bath. So these would be the kids' room. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. I, you know what? I agree with you. I should have a TV show. <laughs> So I, I, I love the fact that this is on a, a single story home. There's not many single story homes in celebration. So this is a little bit rare. And then I'm gonna show you the last area back here. Here's the uh, laundry room. If you have any questions, just go to my Facebook page, which has now been corrected, and um, just ask me there or sign up, and uh, you'll get notified when I'm going to be online again. This is a really nice size um, three-car garage. Another thing that's great is you have three entrances here to the patio. So if you put a pool out there, you can walk from three different areas out to the pool. Three different doors. Now let's take a little look at the, I'm going to show you some of the features that I might have passed by, like the crown molding and um, these wonderful pillars. Okay. Recessed lighting. These are all extra features that if anybody's bought a house new, you know you have to pay extra for them. <laughs> so we got crown molding all around here. 
Got this beautiful area that you could put a painting in. Really, these little alcoves, every time I see one of these alcoves, I go, wow, you could put a nice Mickey Mouse in there. Because, you know, Mickey's got to greet you in a celebration home. Here's another pillar. And they've got, I love this, they've got timers for the outdoor lights. That's very helpful. Any questions about the celebration right now? Oh, thanks for your thumbs up. I appreciate that. So let's see, what else could I have missed? Schools, okay. Schools and celebration. Never take a realtor's word for the school's quality. However, that being said, because you asked, they are A-rated schools. They have their own K through eight, and then the celebration high school. K through eight is exclusive to celebration residents. The high school has Osceola County residents, but it's all in mostly walking distance. I mean, the furthest you'd probably walk to have to walk is two miles. Those people would probably drive. People in Artisan Park where we are, they may drive their kids to school, um, but the people in the main village, those kids would walk. Um, Chris, uh, thank you for asking. That would be probably outside of this area. I would say, you know what? My friend just bought a house in Winter Haven, $100,000. Um, there's a section called Poinciana, which is about 30, I like to go by Disney, 30 to 45 minutes from Disney World. Um, those are but new construction, and it's going to go for like one. 5160. Yeah, but our schools are, are A rated here. That's one of the reasons. And then when you have the low HOA fee, and don't forget that Florida taxes are probably the best in the country. Um, because you can homestead here, and you don't have state taxes. All those tourists, like yourselves who are probably watching from all over the country well you help pay our uh, our taxes so thank you very much ah sure is great oh. oh Chris I'm sorry okay sorry about that news safest areas family friendly would be celebration Windermere, Winter Garden, Dr. Phillips, Claremont. Claremont is probably the um, starting level price point. You could get beautiful homes there in the 240s. You could even get homes in the high 100s. take another trip and just don't want to catch people on camera because you wouldn't like that if you were David thank you for the questions I appreciate them I wish I could put them on screen too but when this video gets posted they'll be up there okay so is there any other parts of the house that you'd like me to show you before I take a little walk around for the people who just joined us.
How much is that house? Yes. Chris, I hope so. You'll be my neighbor. This house is listed at $749,000. It's over 3,200 square feet, has a three-car garage. It has a quite a large lot at over a quarter of an acre. Lot size is 17, over 1,700 square feet. In celebration, unfortunately, I got to be honest with you, no, we do not have fixer-uppers anymore. We did during the, when the market was down. Um, I don't, how much per month? If you're asking about mortgage, I can't give you that information. I would send you to a mortgage, mortgage uh, to a lender because it's just not right for me to give an estimation. You can do that online. Yeah, don't, never ask a, a, a realtor because we're, we'd be liable for the answer. I'm going to go out in front of the house now, show you a little bit around the area, and maybe take a quick trip in before I leave. Does anybody else have any questions? I had about 60 people at one point. Got 30 now. Good for them. Ah, they may get an offer on this. That's good. To... Yeah. I can't wait till I can drive a golf cart around this town. That'll be fun. And you could take a golf cart. Here's one of the great benefits. You could take a golf cart to the grocery store. Isn't that cool? So here's the front again. Now I'm gonna take a little walk down this street Oh, Dan, you're more than welcome. This will be posted if you ever want to see it again. And the comment that's been pinned has my uh, Realtor um, fan page. Okay? So just, if anybody wants to um, know more about any area surrounding Disney World, I do over 55 communities, that's retirement communities. I do investment homes. I do residences. I've sold quite a few condos this year, surprisingly. And again, this is Artisan Park. Everything in here is built with block construction. And oh, and there's the Buco di Peppo delivery truck. Yes, you can have Buco di Peppo deliver to you. <laughs> I'm going to be doing tours like this live once a month. Probably the first Saturday or Sunday of the month. And again, any area you see here, like this, that's conservation area. Can't build there. Any other questions? Anybody have any other questions for me? I hope everybody heard me well today because I didn't bring my special microphone. Um, it, it got a tear in it. I didn't think it was going to work. But I'll have it next time. Now I'm going to post this video probably in about five minutes. Hello. This town is terrific for bike riding. Really great. Any more questions? Anybody have any questions about living in celebration? We've talked about the HOA fees. We've talked about the prices of the homes. We've talked about some of the other areas. That's 
That's my car. <laughs> and here's what I love about celebration. I'll tell you real quickly. When I'm done with this video, it'll be 3.30. By 4 o'clock, I'm going to be walking through Disney. I'll be at Hollywood Studios by 4 o'clock. takes me an average of 12 to 15 minutes to get to the parks from here. One of the closest areas to celebration, to, to Disney. Now, who would like to live just 12 minutes from Disney World? Thank you, Trish. I wish it was my home. <laughs> but I'd have to sell about 50 of these. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's great about living near Disney World? People always say, how can you go to Disney World all the time? How could you do it so often? Well, I don't go from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. like you do when you're on vacation. I go in for four or five hours. I'm out and I'm back home in 25 minutes. I'm going to take a quick run through the house. Yeah, I know. It's, that's, that's why I want... Because I used to live in Davenport, which was really nice. It was very nice. But it still took me 25 minutes to get to the park. Imagine sitting out here on your front porch. You know what's great in um, Celebration? One of the greatest things about Celebration is the events that we have here. From Halloween through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, so many people come here to enjoy the holidays. The, um, this place is packed absolutely packed um, for Halloween so you have to and I'll tell you they don't care what they get as long as they get something so you just get a nice little yes you could retire here and there are retirement communities um, Rena uh, that are they just opened one that is about 10 minutes from Disney World it is so close it's 3.2 miles away from the entrance of Disney World. But we have great events here. Um, I'm going to be broadcasting live from a um, from uh, the, uh, the, uh, the light festival. We call it the Lights on Jeter Bend where 12 houses get all lit up together and they play music and the lights flash in sync in In sync, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I will paste one of my videos um, to this to this video, so that you can see what the lights on Jeter Bend are all about. So I'm just going to go through one last time, and I'm going to end the video in the backyard. This is the dining room. Here is a sunroom off the dining room. This is the pass through to the kitchen, but I'm going to go into this bedroom right here. Everything is on one floor. It's got a full bath. There's some really handsome guy there. Walk-in closets. Kitchen, Melinda, there's Melinda. Thank you so much. Now, if you want any more information about this home, just go to my Facebook page, Naraki Realtor. Jack and Joe Bath. 
So these are nice size bedrooms here, very nice size bedrooms. You can put a full size bed, all your stuff. This is the kitchen nook. Tiled floors. And laundry room. Here's another exit to the outside. We'll go off this way and I'll show you. Um, there's an exit to the garage area, like we can go out to the driveway. And here is the three car garage with another exit door there. So let me go out here and show you the back of the house. And I'll be posting this video shortly, so you can look through it. Yeah, it is nice. Now, someone did comment that they felt it needed a little paint. Let me see. Yeah. Um, when you get white powder on your hands, it means the paint is starting to deteriorate. So, yeah, I could need a paint job, but when you see something like that, that's I figure that's an opportunity. Now you're going to get it the color you want, and you're going to tell them that you want to take money off the price because you need to paint it. So let's go and see this. This is set on a quarter of an acre, over 1,700 square feet. Look at that. Conservation area back there. You fence this in. You, your dogs can go crazy back here. Celebration is extremely pet friendly. We have a dog park. back of the house one story um what is this built let me ask see what this is built on so find out right now this house was built in 2005 so any other questions before i close off and post this video Now, if you want any more information about homes or you want to just keep in touch with me and see what I'm posting, cost. This house is priced at $749,000 in celebration, which makes it about $229 a square foot. Now, that's a little higher than the average. Uh, the average is about, oh, I'd say $210 now. But it has an enormous lot. It's on one story. It faces conservation area in the front and back. So that's where the price makes it very reasonable for celebration. I'm going to go out to the front and I'll say goodbye. This driveway. I love this a cement driveway, not a nice asphalt. I just like cement driveways better. Of course, you won't have to... Um, shovel this driveway. <laughs> I love when I get people from the from the north who go, oh my god, the driveway's so long, I'm going to have to shovel. Oh, I don't have to shovel this driveway. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be in a great area. That 123 Celebration Avenue would be in the North Village. And I would tell you, North Village sells for a little bit less per square foot than, than the other villages. Um, for two reasons. It's separated by a bridge, so people don't feel the connection. There's also Old Town nearby, and sometimes at night you can hear the... the uh, rides and the people at the amusement park of Old Town. So it does sell for a little less. There's some really nice priced homes there. So Lisa, where do you live now?
Okay, I am going to sign off right now. I want to thank you all for your time today. I hope you enjoyed it. Best thing you can do is like this video and share it. I really appreciate that. Um, anyone you know that's moving to the Central Florida area, as a matter of fact, Patty, it is. And in the last four hurricanes, we, according to my neighbors and this hurricane, we did not lose power because we're on the same grid as Disney and Celebration Hospital. Great question, Patty. Thank you for that. If you see the comment that's pinned, that has my Facebook page in it. Yeah, we, and if you notice something, speaking of Patty's question, no telephone poles. No telephone poles. There's no telephone poles that are going to come down. Everything is underground. Isn't that great? So that's one thing. I mean, we did not have to deal with. Some of my friends didn't have power for a week. No, no natural gas here um, in this community. There are some that do have it. Uh, for example, the new community that's opening up, uh, which is an over 55 community, they have it. Um, but I would say, my, in my estimation, only about 10% of communities have natural gas. Now, if you want natural gas for cooking, uh, many people get propane tanks outside their house uh, right outside the um, the kitchen in the outside and then they have they use that for their cooking but I honestly because I grew up with electric I like electric Any more questions before I sign off here? Okay, if you want to connect with me, go to my Facebook page, Noraki Realtor. There you'll find me. And I so much appreciate your time. Oh, you're welcome, Michael. I enjoy doing this very much. I've been looking forward to this all week. I actually was going to do one of my own listings today, but I got an offer within two hours on it, and we sold it. So things are going good, are going swiftly when they have extra features, when they're unique, I feel, and they're priced right. And that's what we were, we were priced right. Okay, well thank you very much. Has everyone seen my Facebook page? Just go to my Facebook page, Noraki Realtor, I appreciate your time. I will be doing this once a month and, and hopefully more. Dawn, if you go to my Facebook page and ask me, I will link it to, the, to that. There is a link on my pinned comment to listings in the area, which this home would be on. And thank you so much for your time. So Dawn, go to my Facebook page, Naraki Realtor, and I will send it to you uh, directly, okay? Thank you so much.